time, Merc. You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? Anybody out there? Barrett! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Here goes. And push! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did? You sure? Hey! Where are you going?
How could this happen? I didn't really think that... What the hell is going on? Tell me this isn't happening. When is help going to arrive? This wasn't an accident. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. <sighs> Through suffering, you will grow strong. Isn't that what you want? Cloud? Hmm? It's nothing. Let's go. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Damn! How much you have to drink? I heard it wasn't. I'm missing no plate. Wait. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Them? Huh? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Sure, glad. But found them. We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Did you find what you were looking for? Thanks to you, I did. Good. Now never let it go again. The first thing we need to do is find a place to take refuge. We'd have ways to dig them out safely. Or maybe no one learned anything after the Sector 6 collapse. Still, I have to believe that we can make a difference. First thing tomorrow, let's go and look for survivors. Yeah. 
You want to shop for materia now? What do we need for tomorrow? I want to make sure I'm prepared. Wear something you can move in and bring gloves. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. <laughs> is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in pretty Let bad shape. Let me throw, shape. damn it! Let me throw! But I Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't an accident. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. Huh. I can't help this did a plate really fall? It's just too dangerous these days not to keep a weapon at your side. Cloud! 
I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You hear about what happened over in Sector 7? what you want when shit hits the fan. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing uh pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? 
So she told you about that? She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad, because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the Ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the Promised Land. <clears throat> Some believe the Promised Land to be a myth, 
others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... if I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. My ears are still ringing from it. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen.
over there. Nothing to it. That way, we'll have to fight our way through, but it's our only shot. We do this fast. up a good sweat. Won't even need to try. <laughs> Brace yourself.
Was never in doubt. Switch it up. Oh.
My best work. Not so fast. You want to go here? You need to provide due compensation. You again? Who did it? Nope. No
Pay attention. Let's finish this. Brace yourself. Getting sloppy. on you. Forget about it. Over there. Huh? That a way out? 
I'm almost afraid to go back to see it with my own eyes. Tifa. Uh. Come on. Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters everywhere. Pretty sure this ought to take us straight to the Sector 5 slums. <laughs> Wyma! You're alive! Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. God damn it. Never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Careful out there. This is about all I could carry. Don't push yourself. Sector 7. Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see? I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Thank you. 
Godspeed.
Let's see what's on the other side. was a lot closer. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! Anybody out there? Tifa. It's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! All that's left of Wedge's place? Hey! 
We're coming down. Stay right where you are. This place reeks of Shinra. Wedge? There's no path, you gotta make one. <laughs> Must be a secret Shinra facility.
how long it take him to build all this beneath our feet. I'm not going down without a fight. They dug halfway to hell. How'd you like that? See ya! Oh, we're done here. Get your ass out of here! 
There you have it. Ain't got nothing on me! Huh. Just no escape in the mist there. Good. Thanks. All right. Gotta go find Wedge. Come on.
to ask, but did you just shoot your way in here? Well, yeah. What did you? I gotta climb another damn ladder.
Hey, you think Wedge is holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his gas. You're right. We should treat him to a nice meal with this for a shower. my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, making me worry like that. I'd kick your ass if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go. What is this? Barret! Hmm. 
this way. Keeper, heads up! <laughs> Just barely. No need to panic. Gotta pull back. Get time. Look. <laughs> that sure looks like a weak point to me. Here it comes. I can still fight.
some fight left in you? Not done yet. Really wants to see us dead. Hell yeah, bring it on! <laughs> Time to go to town on this thing! Shake it off, okay? Bring it! Yeah, there! Not again! to the party and you giving me orders? So how'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who leave that kind of mess. <laughs> Oh God, were those... People? Yeah, that's the Shinra I know. Oh. 
We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Mm. Mm. I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. We stop now. They'll never let us live it down. So, we carry that weight. 